Hello, this is Eric Smith with Tactical Flex. Today's tutorial will be covering the complete installation process for an anvil IDS, which will include snort, barnyard, anvil, and every little piece in between. We're going to be doing this on one of our appliances, uh, which we use as a Mac Mini, and it's currently running OS X 10.8.2 uh, Mountain Lion. And so to get started, let's bring up Safari, and we're going to go to our wiki site, which is found at wiki dot anvil dot com and if we come right down here to our frequently visited pages under here you'll find the anvil installation and upgrade guides you'll see the system requirements hardware requirements and then we're just going to click on our OSX guide right here now there are a few things we're going to need to uh, do before we actually start downloading and installing different pieces uh, one of them, uh, since we are using a Mac here, and we are using Safari, we're going to want to go to Safari Preferences. And right here where it says Open Safe Files After Downloading, we want that unchecked. That will disrupt some of the packages we download if Safari is set to automatically open those. The second, we want to go to our System Preferences. Privacy or security and privacy. We want to make some changes here because some of the, um, actually most of what we're going to download is not going to come from the Mac App Store. So we want to download anything from anywhere. And then to get started, we'll need our terminal. We'll need root privileges. And the first, we're going to start creating some directories. And if you're following along, I'm right here at step four. Now, the nice thing about having the side by side, you can just manually type these out. You can also cut and paste. And it's done. That's one thing I've really liked about this guide. Uh, it's a tried and true guide. So we're just right now creating the different directories that the system will use all together. Okay. Step six, exit and close terminal completely and reopen for path changes to take effect. Yes, close that. We'll get our root privileges here again. And we're in there. Okay, next, we are going to need to download and install Xcode. This is a free app directly from Apple in the Mac App Store. So bring up the Mac App Store. All right, now that Xcode is downloaded, I'm going to launch this. Installation complete, we'll start using Xcode. Well, what we really want to do is just go to the preferences and under downloads, the command line tools, we want to install these. All right, now with those installed, uh, we can just simply quit Xcode. We don't need it at the moment. We're going to quit our session and bring it back up here. Get our root privileges. 
Moving on, the PCRE or Perl Compatible Regular Expression Library contains the required functionality for linked applications, applications to implement regular expression matching based on Perl. So we're going to go to this website, we will just open that in a new tab, to get the latest version of it. We're going to get version 8.31. And we just want the tarball. Okay, that is now downloaded. And so, again, I'm just going to continue to copy and paste uh, most of these commands, especially the lengthier commands. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, as you see here on the wiki, we have items like the PCRE labeled at 8.31 uh, being the most up-to-date in reference. And that's how it is at this point, and that's how we have these commands entered as well. But should there be a new release, just make sure you make the proper changes here in the commands should you just copy and paste. Now we're going, we're on step four here, the PCR, we're going to uncompress and unarchive it. Changing it to that directory. Moving down here to step six. And a make install. Done. Moving on to the DAQs, the data acquisition library. And this is the data acquisition layer that allows applications to replace direct calls to PCAP and is required by Snort as of 2.9. So we're going to go directly to Snort's website to download this one. And the DAQs 1.1.1. And those are downloaded. Copy them from the downloads into the directory we need. Change into that directory. Untar that file. Change to that directory. And then perform our configure, make and make install. And that's done. Next, libdnet. This provides a simplified portable interface to several low-level networking routines and is required by Snort. So we're going to get this latest version, and the one referenced is 1.11. To download, 1.11, the tar. That's what we want. Download complete. So we'll copy it into the folder we need. Change to that directory. Untar that file. Change into that new directory. And another configure. Make and make install. Next, we want to get MySQL. All right, now we, and for this particular box, the Mac Mini, we want a 64 bit and we want the DMG. They'll try to get you to create an account, but you can say, no thanks, just start my download. That's downloaded. I'm going to grab this from our downloads file. First install the main package. Agree and continue.
That one's done. You want to install the startup item package. And then the preferences pane. You can do this however you want. I'm just going to install it for this user only. We want it to automatically start on the server startup. Okay, MySQL is downloaded and running. So next we're going back to our termo. We want to create a symbolic link necessary for future installation guide steps utilizing this dynamic library. And here we're just making sure that my super libraries are in the correct location. Now we need to create a couple of databases. We need to create the Anvil database. This is where Anvil will be writing information. And then the Snort database. This is where Snort will be sending information from which Anvil will then read. Okay. Now since this is a Mac, Apache and PHP are already here. But we do need, need we do need to make some changes. So we need to edit the Apache file. It's a configuration file. So I'm just going to copy that. Say edit. Now we need to get to the load module PHP module. Let's do a quick search. Load module. Got a number of them in here. And we just simply need to uncomment it. And there it is. PHP module. So we'll uncomment that. Save the changes. That one's done. We need to restart Apache. Done. PHP. Web sharing. To enable this, go to our system preferences. I'm going to go to remote management here. This will allow us to remote into the box later. Done.